Hello mga kaibigan, welcome back to Mercos Project. When we're talking about music, lahat tayo ay alam natin yung kantang Noe P. Especially kung bambo ang pinag-uusapan. This time around, let me open up something which is came from one of original members ng Bamboo which is si Ira Cruz na nagsalita at nag-reveal sa kanilang podcast ay hindi pala self-written by Francisco Bamboo Manyala. Anong unang song ang nagawa niyo as a band? Like, Noy P talaga. Hindi, ang, the thing of it is, ang Noy P, na-compose na yun, wala ko si Bamboo. Ang or- na-compose na yun, wala ko si Bamboo. All We Never Know from America bago siya bumalik sa Pilipinas ay nag-compose siya ng isang magandang kanta at eto nga yung kinalabasan na one of the greatest hits sa Pilipinas or sa industriya ng OPM which is Noy P. Nung paglabas nito, talagang putok na putok to pero ngayon lang na-reveal sa mainstream especially here in social media na sinabi ni Ira Cruz sa podcast na eto pala ay hindi self-written by Bamboo itself. Let's check it out. So in the middle of kapatid, sinabi sa akin ni Nate, uwi uwi si Babs. Oo. Oh. Gawin natin to. Anong unang song ang nagawa nyo as a band? Noy. Noy P talaga. Hindi, ang, the thing of it is, ang Noy P, na-compose na yun, wala pa si Babs. Okay. Ang original plan was, si Nathan, tsaka, ah, si Carl, tsaka si Bam sa kakanta. Mm-hmm. Yung story nun is, yung girlfriend ko at the time, si Mylene, was doing a movie with Bong Revilla. Mm-hmm. So, si Bong Revilla, ah, aging, 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 Couple of days after, si Nathan, ito yung kanta. Magaling. Sabi mo. <laughs> Teka lang. <laughs> Pero si Nathan, imagine, si Nathan pupunta sa bahay ko. Ito, ito na yun. Gitaro lang. Okay. So, open C. What was the next chord? A? A? Maybe a G? Maybe a D? Pero puro couple chords. Right. Meron ka. Yeah. That's it. And also one thing we should all know kasi bigla na lang nawala yung bambu sa limelight ng mga pagkakataon na yun. And this is the right time for us na malaman or madinig mismo sa isang member ng bambu kung paano nagliwahiwalay yung bambu at that moment. Kasi nung mga panahon na yun, bigla na lang silang nawala sa spotlight at wala tayong idea kung paano nangyari sa likod ng istorya. Let's check it out. In the beginning of a band, palagi kayo magkasama. Mm, Masaya. But pag araw-araw mo nakasama, you would get on each other's nerves. There's no... <laughs> Parang pamilya. Yeah. You know the truth? Siyempre. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, magbabatheads yan. Eh. Yeah. So, sinong magbabati-bati dyan? Who will get everybody together? So, mga bandang second week or third week. I don't know if it was Pancho or Bamboo. Oh, meeting tayo. Okay. Pero alam ko na sa napunod ang mangyayari dito. Before that point, may friction na between Bams and Nate. Oh, okay. Meeting so, happened. It was in my house, in Maripos. Oh. Dumating muna si Bams. So, oh, sabi ko, okay, dumating si Nathan. So, ito na. Sabi ni Bams, sabi niya, he was giving, there was a list of, ah, I don't think I can do this anymore, ganito, ganyan, 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 there was a, there was a whole list. And then, si Nate, sabi niya, buti na lang, kasi ayoko na rin gawin. Mm-hmm. So sinabi ni Nate yun, yung laptop ko, sinarado, sinarado ko na lang, sabi ko, tango, it's no use in pang doon, it's And also one thing na napakagandang malaman din natin kasi hindi sila nag-release nito sa mainstream ng kanilang panahon kung bakit bigla na lang nawala sa limelight yung bandang bambu. For more content regarding about music, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit like and share our music. Well, when I